Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Director of Elections, Art Fisher, is to return to the Supreme Court on Tuesday for the hearing of an application he has filed seeking to prevent the Electoral Commission of Jamaica from removing him. Fisher is contending that his one-year appointment, which expires on Tuesday, is illegal because the law clearly states that the appointment must be for seven years. Meanwhile, there was heightened attention in the St. Mary Southeast constituency today in the by-election battle between the PNP newcomer Dr. Shane Alexis and the JLP two-timer Dr. Norman Dunn. The by-elections in the PNP strongholds of St. Andrew Southwest and St. Andrew South were low-keyed. Transport Minister Mike Henry says a probe by the Contractor General will determine the truth of claims by the opposition that the JUTC awarded a $50 million contract to Millennium Security Limited. The opposition has said the JUTC board and managing director should resign over the matter. University professor Maureen Sams Vaughan is pleading with the government to put an end to the legalized form of violence against children by banning corporal punishment. She argues that any form of violence against an adult is a chargeable offense, but it is still okay to beat children. In sports, Jamaica and West Indies cricketer Chris Gale has won a defamation case against an Australian publisher over articles that made claims about him and the female massage therapist Leanne Russell in Sydney in 2015. Harvard Gale successfully argued that the reported incident did not happen. In your weather forecast on Tuesday, expect cloudy skies with periods of thunderstorms mainly across sections of northern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.